Hello, welcome to a new game called Ansible. It's no longer on the Steam store. Uh, it's got 11 levels to it. It's by indie developer from India, Umbral Arts. And we take the part of Joe. We've been camping in the wilderness with our wife Emily, and we've woken up to find that she's not around. And we need to go look for her. Dory, this is tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day. Wow, one year, and here we are. Oh, I'm so nervous. This ring cost me everything, but it's all worth it for her. So happy I can't sleep. Did I just write low in my diary? I should get some rest. Wish Dana was happy for me, though. She's the first sister in the world that hears of her brother's proposal, and the first thing that comes out of her mouth, a prenup. Still, I shouldn't have stormed out like that. At least people here were happy for me. They overheard about the proposal and let us camp in this restricted area. It's so secluded and scary at night too. It feels like the national borders with all the washtowers around, but it's amazing during the day. Perfect for the big day tomorrow. Well, I should sleep. And uh, basically, we haven't got any phones. We're off the grid. Okay. So you can just see her shoe on the other side of the fence here. As I said, this is an indie developer. Um, and a good telltale sign of that is that you can go through trees. Um, it's uh, a, a single indie developer from India called Philip Michael. Um, this is his only product, and it only had one review, and that review was very, very scathing. So scathing, in fact, that the developer took this game immediately off Steam. Uh, and said he's going to work on it still. I don't agree with the negative review. I think this actual game has a lot of potential. And I'll explain why. Um, I understand what the review was talking about. And I agree to some extent. But there's a lot more to this. This isn't just a, you know, a rubbish game or the worst game Emily? ever. He's trying to create atmosphere. And he's using long pathing techniques to be able to do that and that's kind of a downfall it takes a long time to get anywhere um, so this is just level one as I said there are 11 levels I'm gonna put the sound up a little bit seriously go in there this girl seriously who does this so her shoe was on the outside of the cave um, this level two writing I've actually implemented that in for better reference so we're now in level two. Uh, the footsteps are very annoying, it, but the visuals are quite nice. Like I like the aesthetics of the cave. It really does look like a cave. Um, Emily. However, it's kind of just him saying Emily all the time, um, and I don't know how you could solve that to some degree. Maybe you have other parts of her clothing found so that we know something's uh, very, very much amiss. Um, or uh, other eye candy along the way. Uh, it, it's just missing something. I didn't expect anything to jump out so early. Uh, usually we have some sort of introduction before that happens. Um, what else can I say about this game? Uh, th so this game, he kind of likens it to Dead, Sp Dead Space and Resident Evil. Um, he, it's kind of like a maze runner, um, and he didn't want it as a hide and seek game. He wanted a more of a, you have to place yourself in the in the right position, game, and uh, that's going to become a bit more uh, um, apparent later on. Um, I'm gonna, I want to break this up into two videos. I'm gonna talk largely about the story. Okay, in the second you have your video. lab. Let's go now. So there we see the our wife's second shoe. Why did you um, even come down here, man? Because there's a really long pathing on the last level. Nothing's happening, so I'll pretty much talk about all the story during that level uh, because there's quite a lot involved. Uh, this is actually based kind of on a, uh, on a franchise, um, a science fiction franchise, which I was uh, quite surprised about. Emily? Uh, she's a famous author and I had no idea about her whatsoever. Uh, Ursula Le Guin, and uh, so uh, there'll be something interesting to talk about in the, in the next video. But I just want to talk about, so Hello? if the game was about this lighting, it would have been okay. Um, 
for the next level, the lighting goes really, really starts getting dark, and it's not fun. I, I know the developers put it there on purpose, but look, when you troll gamers like this and you put them in unpleasant situations, they're going to go absolutely ape and write negative reviews about you. Um, Emily. Now, on the plus side, no one's ever seen this game. No one's ever passed this game except for the developer, and you're the first to witness what how this game ends. So we uh, get to an elevator. This is level three, as I said. I've uh, put the in, Hello? Uh, writing in for. This place is huge. Why would she even come here? And now we're actually traversing Emily? the Ansible. Um, so there's a zombie, uh, sort of like an introduction, uh, a clue, whenever you see a zombie, follow the path that the zombie goes, because that's the great way of going about it. So this maze is quite big, uh, you can go, be going into a lot of dead ends, I'm going to show you a quick way of going through it. So this is the Hello? path you want to take. As you can see, I can't see a foot in front of me, um, so you would expect... Uh, if there were jump scares that we would jump out, there's not going to be any. There's a couple of grumbles, but that's about it for this level. So you'll see that there you want to take this path down here. So essentially, once I went down there, you heard the uh, zombie grumble. Um, you turn left. Uh, I believe we have to turn left again. Why would you even come down here, man? And you won't find the exit until you're pretty much on top of it. And so the whole point is uh, to go from the entry to the exit, and you've got to do that for the 11 levels. Uh, it's levels 4 and 5 where it becomes very, very aggravating, and uh, no one passed level 4, and I understand that. Um, so again, you want to turn right here. We are finished. I think there's Hello? A pretty, pretty much the last sort of uh, major turn that we need to do. Oh, I thought we needed to turn right now. Here we go straight ahead, turn right, and follow the rabbit warren, and that's pretty much about it. We're out. And you should see the zombie on the right. You see he's been banging his head. There's a bit of blood on the Hello? thing there. He's a, a bit of a interesting zombie. We'll see him. examples. If you go next to him, he'll come at you. So this is level four. This is the level that everyone hates now. Hello? Everything is going uh, to what is that? going to chase you in here, and you can't defeat it. What are those? Are those? Are those bodies? All you can okay. do is run. Okay. Oh, oh fuck. Ah. So I guess it's like Pac-Man if you want to put it up. But you're not eating pellets, you're going to tap the things, man. Now you want to turn right here. I don't know what's down there, but I happen to do. I have to make the right on my first shot, which was lucky. There are save points, and basically you just want to get to the next save point. Now you got spiders. Um, now I've made a wrong turn here. Um, this is uh, this is where I nearly died. So this is perfect. For instance, how people just get angry because they die constantly. The, it's really really dark. It's hard to see which passages. So you just saw I hit a checkpoint. That's a, that's how you know you're going the right way. I found following the purple grass also helpful for some reason. Uh, you just want to kind of walk around the spiders. You can see my health on the bottom there, that little white line. It's going down pretty fast. Um, so here, I'm just walking into blackness basically. I have so many spiders at the back of me, it's crazy stuff. And uh, the little ones ca keep up with me. Big ones don't. I just got through that, I don't know how. That was a miracle. And this is as fast as you go. This is, this is about running speed. 
I don't want to turn back. If I turn back, I'm dead. It's so simple. Uh, you don't want to get stuck on boulders or um, other things. Um, here, the only way I found to pass this area is to go into this blackness here, and this spider doesn't turn around as quick. That is the only way past that. There are so many spiders and things there that will get trapped easily. I only just got through that, only by a millimeter. And I've got them really right up on <laughs> Wow, and now here we got more zombies. So we get a good. Oh, I thought it was going to be too. the um, boulder decided to turn away. Now you can see I'm starting to die. I'm uh, now got this electrical thing happening to my vision, which is part of the story. Apparently. As I said, I will get into that in the next video. Um, oh my goodness! Okay, keep going, go, 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 go. I got, I got about 200 things. Heading in blackness. There's nothing I can do. Just hopefully. Get in in time, quickly turn when you get the corner. And uh, the only reason why I know is because I hit, I hit a, um, hit a safe point there. And amazingly, I am about to do. Just got one more little level to go. Got a little bit of health back now. Thank goodness. Um, and whenever you hear the heartbeat, it basically means the monsters are here. Um, I have uh, forever got a heartbeat. There are guns, but they don't come out to a level 5 or 6. Um, so I really wouldn't worry about the gun in level 4. You just gotta. You just gotta. Yeah, and there's the exit. All I've gotta do is get to the exit now. Quickly go, run, 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 run. And wow, that, that is really hard. And just press E, and you see how many enemies uh, bottles are. So that's 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 crazy stuff. Um, and I can agree, I can understand why people rage quit and they go ape, and that's what happened. The very first player rage quit and went nuts. This level is even harder, and he never got to this level. Um, I can't pass this level on one shot. All I can do is get to the next save point, um, and that's basically all I can do. This is, you have to take this route that I'm showing you. Uh, go behind this, this stops the other thing from taking a lot of health off you. And you still took a bit of health off you then. And again, you haven't got any weapons yet to be able to fight back. And all you can do is dodge them. As you can see, my vision is already going. This one you want to duck to the left as quickly as possible. Huh? Yeah, duck to the left. Oh, let's go. What am I doing? Um, oh, yeah, go, keep going. Keep going. I'm only just making this. Wow. Um, I am going to die soon. Hopefully, I'll get to the checkpoint. Uh, I've got the checkpoint. Let's see if we can make another one. So I understand what he's trying to do, he's trying to make a game that's exciting. Uh, I guess Dead Space part of it is because of spiders. I guess the Resident Evil part of it is because of zombies. Um, but he really... Look, Dead Space never had you lost. You weren't lost. You know, it, it wasn't... You, know, you had a path in today. Um, it wasn't this aggravating.
I want to hit the checkpoint. What's the checkpoint? Give me a checkpoint. Oh, I think I'm going to have a. Oh, I got a checkpoint there. So I did get die there um, at that checkpoint. Uh, so uh, this is continuing on from where I died. Um, now you want to ignore that spider. Dodge these two. This is the only way to get to the elevator. Uh, this bar is very aggravating because you're running into blackness quite a bit here. Um, this is the route. I always keep it on the right. Oh, hang on, get that in the ship. Yeah, and I died again. So it, it, it's amazing, you know, that was just a spider biting me twice and I was dead. So here there's actually a secret passage on the left, but there's so many things there. You kind of have to do a big loop in the darkness. Um, and even then you're getting, it's very easy to get lost. Um, but the, ultimately the avenue you want to take is on the left. Come on, I'm nearly dead already. This is crazy. As you can see, each level is really, really long. Uh, so, um, but the longest level is, without a doubt, level nine. Crazy long. That's why I'll do the most amount of talking then. Uh, at least, at least here it's exciting. You're watching me get chased by big spiders. So it's at least, you know, exciting stuff. Level nine, not exciting. Really, like you want to start breaking your monitor. There's a gun there on the left. Uh, that's what the guns look like. I'll grab that and uh, start the next level, which is six. So, is it? This is what the guns look like. The fuck is that thing? Is that a? And it's a very unusual gun for an alien race. Um, the gun aesthetics don't change, but the bullets do. Uh, you might get assault rifle, or you might get shotgun. Basically, that's the two two different guns. I don't think there's any other gun up from that. Oh, and pistol. Um. This one's not too bad, but it overheats on the third bullet, and you gotta wait for it to reset. So you get to have a good look at the zombies now. Now you want to take these ones out because. They can really box us in. So it's, it's kind of good to take them out. I did do this once, avoiding all the enemies. I uh, got through this. To some degree, the game had a lot of potential, but I do like the looks of it. I like the idea. I like the idea of the game being this. Uh, this is unique. Um, so there are uh, quite a few things I do a lot about. And the game works. Like I'm really surprised that after one bad review, he removed the game. Um, I 
think it was for sale for twelve dollars ninety five, somewhere around there. And the guy, you know, went ape and said, "This is not worth twelve dollars ninety five." And he, he's right. Like you know, if he sold it for a couple of dollars, um, I think he would have had a lot more people play it. Now this gun is useless. This gun is... I can't... I can't tell you how aggravating this gun is. And it doesn't kill anything. How many bullets did I put into that thing? At least with the pistol you get like three, three shots and boom is gone. Don't worry, I'll find a good gun next level and I, I stick with that gun for the rest of the, the, rest of the game. Zombie aliens. Yeah, actually kudos. I think that's actually quite quite cool. It means you could have a whole range of different zombie things that you know um, like instead of shooting them in the head it could be something else. Um, having zombie aliens just opens up a whole range of new ideas, new concepts. But they crawl, and they crawl very slowly. It's just when you get a whole horde on top of you, and not knowing where you're going in the dark. Um, now, no one's ever even been up here, so you're seeing this for the first time. This is the story. Find this place. Answer now. I I was camping with someone here. They found an elevator in the cave. What are you? And those bodies? That doesn't concern you. I'm trying to find someone. They could be hurt or something. Please. Understand me? Please help me. I can help you with that, but first you must help me. I You have no other choice. I will keep the outgoing elevators locked. The only way is by doing what I say and say go goodbye to that person you're trying to save I too. Well fine. Okay. Okay. How do I trust you? This has nothing to do with trust. As you can see, the facility has lost power. If you don't do what I say... I don't know what I said, it just went really great. I Leave, I've unlocked the elevator. So basically, we've got to uh, restore the power to this facility. That's all. just got past that. So you can imagine if I didn't take care of the other, you know, 
dozen zombies and they're all waiting at that elevator door. Very unlikely I'm not going to get past them. Uh, as for the rest of the enemies, you can just walk past them. Uh, so this is the route in order to get to the next level. Uh, again, it's very aggravating when you can't see, but um, there's only one path to get through the maze. And ultimately this is a maze game. Um, I guess, I guess I, I've always raised the question: can, Is there such a, is, is there such a thing as a good maze game? This is kind of close. This is the closest I've ever seen to a a pretty decent maze game. Um, I mean, this is what the developer was doing, and I can't fault him on that because this is what the develop how the developer originally designed the game. But you know, once you start aggravating gamers, you're going to get wages come back at you. That's what happened. So this is level seven. This is the last level I'll show you, and then I'll cut it to another video. Um, now the difference is we're going to actually avoid all the zombies uh, because we want to get to a good gun. Uh, again it means that we're going to have a lot and I mean a lot of zombies come up behind us. Um, if I didn't do this because the gun's a reload capability, if I was going to do this normally without bypassing all the enemies, you're looking at um, you know, 40 minutes or, or so, just just this level. Now, the funny thing is the developer said that he tested his game and there's about 10 hours of gameplay. Um, so as you can see, the, the gun doesn't do anything. Um, look, I can get through the game in about 50 minutes to an hour. The best way of doing it is avoid the enemies, don't even take them on, just run past them. Now none of the enemies are faster than you, thank goodness. Uh, the, the small spiders will keep up to you though. So. spider takes one shot at a, a pistol. So, now each time the spider bites me, it's like, uh, I guess it's kind of like that poison you talks I would assume that the big ones is just one bite. So you need to avoid them as much as possible. You, you're, you're moving on a diagonal basis quite a bit. I'm guessing the rocks are like the spider eggs and uh, the calcified. And you see a lot of zombie versions of the alien that we just talked to. Now, it's kind of, unless you dug deeper, it's kind of, um, this game is based on, as I said, Ursula Le Guin's science fiction series. What's amazing about that is it does a picture or trail of a book that I guess um, no that doesn't exist at the present. So to come up with this artistry is, you know, and the art is fantastic. The spiders are awesome. You, know, like, you really feel like you're being chased. So far I've been lucky, uh, we're getting close to the gun I think now, I don't think we've got too much more, uh, uh, also the particle system, like the dust, the, the dust in the air and, and um, you know, the overhead cables, one thing I find strange though, no spider webs, oh yeah it's strange to have spiders and no spider webs, 
it's a bit bizarre. Um, and there's only two enemies and they're the same enemies every level. Um, it doesn't go into detail um, about the bodies that you saw. Um, and I think it should have. Okay, so we're up to the gun part of it now, and here's where the game's going to change dramatically. Um, so you need to divert your way. So you can, uh, and only now is it going to turn into a shooting game. This gun, look how many there are. That is a gun. It overheats, but it puts them down with one shot. And now I can just get rid of everything. proud of this gun, he's uh He's made it very punchy so that you feel like you're a badass when you're you know firing at these things. And you can, you kinda do, like there's no threat. Sniping isn't good for this gun. Now there's no bosses in this game but the spiders do get bigger and bigger in the next level. I, I think there's uh, two spiders that are... Two spiders that are twice the size of the one that I uh, not long just shot. As I said, I don't mind. It's a, it's very unusual that you're picking up the same gun. Uh, I think instead of the gun, we could have picked up microchips that we implanted in the gun. Like we're just basically reprogramming the same gun instead of. Um, color coded so I knew what they were before even approaching them. You know, that one with a blue band on it or something along those lines. I love the purple haze. too hard to navigate. Um, number four and five are definitely the hardest. 
Very easy to get lost. But these mazes weren't, because you know, if you're coming up against other enemy, you must be going the right way. Um, kind of. But again, look at the, and this is the problem, he's basically padded his game with slow, very slow walking. Um, now I don't need any checkpoints with this gun. It's very, very hard to die when you've got this gun. Boom, done. So you got ones that seem to have volcano... Volcanic burn sort of look to them, and you've got others that are just basically zombified versions of the... wish it did because now I've dug deeper in it I would really like to see where this story goes I feel like I'm in a department store through the uh, facility which if you haven't guessed by now it's the Ansible and what is the Ansible? well as I said I will answer that in a lot of detail in the next video uh, so that's it guys, I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, you haven't seen, and I'll uh, catch you for the next one.